The Louds are going back to school. Going back to school? And each member of the Loud crowd will show off their style in the Loud House Locker Decorating Guide. Let's do this! Let's start with the fashionista herself, Lenny Loud. <gasps> Ooh, you want to do an interview? Okay, my favorite color is zebra. Zebra it is! And since she's about her looks as much as books, mirrors are a no-brainer. Something's wrong with this mirror! <sighs> Don't worry about it, Lenny. This chin hair is like three inches long. Lenny can turn the hallway into her runway. So let's stuff some of her fave accessories in there. Wait a second, is this a locker or a closet? Hi, Lori. Have we always had a window in our closet? Either way, it's looking totes adorbs. Oh, and gosh, it's perfect. Next up, Lucy's locker. Since she already sleeps in a coffin, why not make her locker one too? It's like a coffin for your dreams. What else do we need? Candles, cobwebs, cauldrons. Spooky. Even fangs would go batty over it in here. And there's just enough room for Lucy's poetry book. Give me your best rhymes for Rose. Chairs. Clothes. Bows. Decompose. Ooh, evocative. Easy. We're passing with flying colors. Or in Lucy's case, black. Rockstar Luna Loud needs a rockin' locker. Let's start with a splash of purple. And we'll need to squeeze her guitar and some serious ampage in there for in-between class jam sessions. Thank you! Every good concert needs some haze, so a smoke machine it is. The final touch, posters of the British flag and rock god Mick Swagger. Just not me, I don't meet Swagger. Oh, Lord! <laughs> Ooh, drafty. Done! Now it's a school of rock. Lincoln's up. His locker has got to be stuffed with comics featuring his favorite hero, Ace Savvy. What a Jack and Ace Savvy! Do you wear those under your clothes every day just waiting for an opportunity such as this? Speaking of hero, is this a peanut butter and sauerkraut sandwich? How long has this been in here? Ugh, that's gotta go. This is my favorite sandwich, Lily. Peanut butter and sauerkraut. Lincoln's an avid gamer, so video games it is. To be played during recess, of course. Hey, Lenny, want to play video games? Those things will rot your brain. Besides, I have fashion magazines to look at. Let's slap a smooch poster here and ta-da! This locker is screaming Lincoln. Red light by the lips! Give me the smooch! Whose locker's up next? Oh, pranks for nothing, Luann. <laughs> Even the class clown thinks there's nothing funny about a boring locker. Why are clowns never bored? Because we're good at keeping occupied. <clears throat> I said, good at keeping occupied. So we'll need a serious amount of chattering teeth, bowling pins, bananas, a unicycle. Anything else we're forgetting, Luann? Wait! I can't find my whoopee cushion! I don't have time for... Thanks, Mom! Toodaloo! <laughs> and whoopee cushions! Jeez, Luann, aren't there any books in there? Oh, wait. This looks like... Oh, no! It, it can't be! These look like Luann's diabolical plans for April Fool's Day! Next year, I'm gonna stop going easy on you and give you all an April Fool's you'll never forget! <laughs> <laughs> We've seen too much. Let's keep going. Lynn's on deck, and we're giving her locker a super sporty spin. Since she likes to let everyone know she's a winner... Winner, winner, chicken dinner! There's no better place to show off her trophies than her locker. Throw in some cleats, a jersey, and gym socks, and Lynn just turned a hall pass into a hall of fame. At least I don't smell like crusty athletic socks. Just remember to wash those gym socks. This locker is covered in mud. This must be Lana's. My favorite way to stay fit is mud wrestling. Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> Take down two points. Now what should go inside her locker? Any of her pets? We got a Diablo likes you. Aww. Uh, snakes don't belong in school. How ah, about some tools? I'm telling Dad! Forget that pitiful plunger, Dad. 
This is a class five clog. You're gonna need Big Bertha. Done. Time to make Lola's locker sparkle. Let's start with the tiara. As partial as I am to a sparkly tiara, I'd have to say that a girl's most important accessory is her brain. Smart and stylish. What else does this locker need? Dang, Lols, you're really on your rhinestone game today. Thank you for noticing. Rhinestones, check. What else? <laughs> Glitter, check. But it's still feeling a bit empty. Thank you all for coming to my tea party. Who would like a finger sandwich? Now it's a party. Put your thinking caps on, cause Lisa's up next. She's a total bookworm, so let's put some textbooks on the shelf. Who needs textbooks when I can do field research? Well, books are out. Research equipment is in. I prefer to see my classmates as co-workers or occasionally test subjects. All righty, moving on. When Lisa needs a study break, she really knows how to break it down to some West Coast rap. Everybody gather around for the jam. We on to come up and here's the master plan. Slay all day, girl. So boom, a boom box it is. This locker's looking smart. Now if Lily was in school, her locker would look super sweet. So a Sunday it is. <laughs> and that baby gets cranky without her binky and blanky. So in they go for necessary nappage. Let's add her mobile and this cute ducky wallpaper for a cozy touch. Ah, we're literally on the last locker, Lori's. This is literally genius. She loves her tech, so let's deck out her locker with some screens. Beep, bop, boom. You don't need all these devices. Yes, I do. Bobby and I like to admire each other from multiple angles. And Lori loves yoga, so let's throw in her mat. <laughs> <laughs> Last, we'll add a hook for her car keys to Vanzilla. One time Lori forgot those and it did not go very well. Oh, girl! We did it! Which locker made you holler? Comment below and be sure to let us know how you're gonna rule your school in style.